Hey guys, it's Alpia Shazzy Beats here and welcome back to my channel. This video is going to be my Q&A video for my 300 subscriber special. First off, before I start, I just want to say thank you guys so 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 much for 300 subscribers again. I just, I can't believe we reached 300 subscribers. I'm speechless, you know. I just want to tell you guys that I appreciate every single one of you guys and I am so thankful. I can't believe you guys like my content and everything like that it just it means so much to me and i'm glad i can share my personality and my passion with you guys so yeah okay that was a bit cringy i'm not gonna lie this is gonna be my new channel trailer so i gotta you know introduce myself so if you're new here hi i'm lps jazzy beats the creator of this channel i post a variety of videos such as skits hauls um series and so much more so if you're into that and you enjoy my content from this and also if you watched some of my other videos go ahead and click that subscribe button like and you know comment down below something nice i guess or like if you guys have a question you want to ask me that you didn't have a chance to ask me before then go ahead and leave it in the comment section below and i'll be sure to answer it if you subscribe hit that bell notification to get notified on when i post videos yeah and let's get on to the video so first off i'll be telling a little bit about myself so you know you get to know me and then i'll be answering your guys's questions hello my name is I, I keep saying hello, I'm really sorry about that. Yeah. Well, hello there. I am LP Jazzy Beats, also known as Jasmine. My pronouns are she and her, and you can call me Jasmine, LP Jazzy Beats, Jazzy, Jazz, really anything. I honestly don't mind. I was born in Hong Kong. I'm half Chinese, half English, and a quarter Fiji. I did live in Hong Kong my entire life until July 2020, last year, um, I moved to England. So now I live in England. I have two siblings, I have a brother and a sister. My mother tongue is English. I also speak Chinese. I speak both um, Mandarin and Cantonese. I'm not fluent in both of them, but I do speak. I speak a little bit of Spanish. I know two words in Fijian, which are Bula, which is hi, and Vneka, which is thank you, which I don't know if I'm pronouncing that right, so I'm really sorry. I have many hobbies. My favorite sport is swimming. I've been swimming for a long time, but I haven't been swimming when I moved to England because of the virus happening. But you know, we gotta do what we gotta do. I love crafting. If you guys didn't know, and you guys have seen my Insta stories and stuff, I do have a highlight on my crafts, and I also post all my crafts updates on there. So if you guys wanna check that out, go ahead is LPS Jelly Beats. So I love crafting. I've been crafting for a long time, way before I started like collecting LPS. So I used to um, make crafts for my Barbies, which that's what I started collecting first, Barbies, and then I moved on to LPS. And of course, my other hobby is LPS. I also do like music. I can play the piano and violin. But that's a little bit about me. Okay, now we are going to move on to your questions. Okay. First question is from It's Brie the Fox, and she said, What inspired you to do LPS Tube? I honestly don't know. How I knew about LPS Tube is I saw Paulson TV's 10 types video about like something to do with school. I forgot what it was, but I think it was her first video. So I saw that and I was like, And I was like, and i checked my lps and that's when i knew these figurines were called lps the reason why i'm saying figurines is because i don't know i just don't really want to say toys because they're not toys they're something you know that you can express yourself with so yes and the reason why i joined lps tube was because well i wanted to share my passion about lps and my like personality to you guys on youtube and the whole world and the internet or whatever i hope i explained that well i'm not really sure but that also answers jay in quarantine's question which was why did you join lps tube okay next question 
was from Honey's Pet Shop and she said, congrats, thank you. How long have you been collecting and have any upcoming series? I've been collecting ever since 2015. So I think around seven years now. I'm not really sure if I collected in 2016 or 2015, but yeah, that's when I started like, getting really serious and everything. I actually don't have any more series coming up. It's because I want to focus on my two series right now, which is LPS Betrayal and Don't Call Me Angel. LPS Betrayal is actually coming to a close. I'm gonna end it at episode 10. So yeah, there won't be a season two or anything, but I do have like a good ending and everything. So yeah, um, and Don't Call Me Angel, I will be continuing. I don't plan on closing it anytime soon. You guys should go subscribe to Honey's Pet Shop. Um, I'll put her YouTube username on the top right here. Go subscribe to her, she's really sweet and her videos are amazing. And follow her Instagram as well, she's super nice. Next up, we have another friend of mine on LPS Tube, which is LPS Radio TV Official. You should go subscribe to her YouTube channel and follow her Instagram as well. Anyways, so she said, what's your favorite LPS? Um, my favorite LPS is probably, I have so many favorite LPS, but it's probably my mascot because it has so much meaning to me, I guess. I got a fake version of her before I got this pet. So my fake version of this, she was like my first Dachshund, Dachshund, yeah. And she just, it meant so much to me. I don't know, it's just like, it always holds a special place in my heart. I don't know, that's why I really like her. And also she kind of looks like me, but don't have blue eyes. And also I'm not this skinny. She also said, what's your dream LPS? Well, I have so many, I actually have a wish list on my Instagram. I don't trade right now, I just put it on there for letting you guys know what my dream pets are and like for me to know like what my dream pets are so I like yeah I sometimes lose count so yeah but I think the biggest dreamy LPS of mine is 391 also known as the Egyptian short hair let me go get her so here she is I love her so so much she is in okay condition she has some like bits like where it's like chips off and stuff like her nose and like her ears and stuff but i honestly don't mind i love her so much i knew i loved this pest so much i watched so many short films and videos with her when i first like joined the lps community and honestly i love her eyeliner her eyes it's just gorgeous and honestly i just love her so much she's wearing this outfit that she will be wearing in lps betrayal so yeah, little sneak peek at that. Yeah, I don't know why I was talking like that. I'm really sorry about that. Eek. But I'm also super happy about her because even though she's not in the best condition, I got her for a really good deal. This pet goes for around 50 USD to like 100 USD and even like 200 USD, which is honestly insane. And I got this pet for, wait for it, 27 USD. So I actually got this pet from May's Toy Shop. I think that's her name now. She changed it from store to shop, I think. So yeah, she actually listed it as 50 USD. And then um, since no one was buying it, she, I guess, um, discounted it. And I was waiting for it to get on discount, I guess. I saw it discount and I was like, oh my gosh, I have to get it while it's on discount. So yeah, I did that and now she's here. Oh my gosh, I love her so much. I had to stop rambling about her now. So I'm gonna put her off to the side. Say bye to Brie guys, bye. Okay, next question is from Vicky18813, which is when did you start LPS? Well, I've already answered this question. I started collecting 2015, 2016 around. Next question is from Sassy Angel LPS. She said, what editor do you recommend that is free and easy to use for beginning LPS users? Well, I use iMovie, which is free and available on all Apple devices like iPad, phone and computer. So I use that, it's free, easy to use. But if you don't have any Apple devices, then if you own any Windows or HP um, devices, there should be this thing called Movie Maker on it or something like that. Yeah, um, I think that's free too that you can use. So yeah, it's simple to use as well. Okay, next question that she asked was, what do you think of the LPS Lover QA pets? And she said my mascot is one. Well, some pets are nice. I mean, some designs are a bit like weird. I don't know, it just looks weird. Like the, the new thing that they made, it's like a pug base 
with a collie head. It's so creepy, but I overall like where they're coming from, but if you guys haven't seen Shimmer Heart oh yes, I think it is. I'm not really sure. I'm really sorry I forgot your name, but yeah, I'll put her username on the screen right now. She basically made a video saying like talking about LPS Love QA and it actually made a good point. LPS Love QA, they don't own LPS, Hasbro does, and they were the ones who created this idea. So well, LPS Lover QA is basically stealing Hasbro's ideas and designs. So it is illegal because they didn't create it, it was Hasbro's, you know? I don't really know how to explain it, but yeah, I don't want to ramble too much because this video will be too long. I do buy the accessories from them because they do make good accessories like scarves and hair dryers and computers and all that stuff. And that's good because like, Hasbro didn't make those designs, so it's fine. Many toy brands make these accessories, so it's honestly fine. I haven't bought any in the past, but I've seen many on like AliExpress and stuff that I want to buy in the future. And they also sell custom bases that you can use. I haven't actually got any like LPS Lover QA pets other than the custom bases. My character Lucas, um, Jordan, Noah, and Adam, they all are on a LPS Lover QA custom base. If you guys want me to do a video on it, then please comment down below and I'll see what I can do. Um, Sassy Angel LPS also asked, what is your fave, not big five LPS mold? She also said, do you do LPS customs? First of all, yes, I do do LPS customs. Noah, Jordan, Lucas, and Adam, they're all customs. I also have Alyssa. I also have her brother Rex. I have Rose, I have Sabrina, they're all custom. Yeah, I do do L <coughs> voice crack, Uller, ooh. I do do LPS customs, so yeah. If you guys want me to do a video on that as well, then comment down below. Your favorite big five pet LPS mold? I have so many, honestly. I like I like ferrets, I like foxes, I like lions, I like, um, I like caterpillars, I like, um, Jack Russell. I, I honestly like every LPS mold. Mwah, chef's kiss. And then she ended that question with, that's all for now. Love you so much. Love you too. Okay, next question is from LPS Dreams. She said, how did you get into LPS? Well, I already answered that question. And she also said, how did you find LPS Tube? Well, I found it because of Awesome TV, which I said, ready? She also said, which genre do you like? of LPS tube. I honestly like all of them, but the main ones I watch is like crime and mystery. Like Thea LPS makes those videos. I love her videos and it's like crime and stuff. I'm, I like crime. I'm sorry. Like I like the topic of murder and like all that stuff. So yeah. I also like drama, like, you know, like high school drama and all that stuff. Fantasy kind of. I do like LPS festival films, series, dragon princess so i like those genres i do like horror i don't like it much i don't know why i still watch it but i get scared really easily so i don't really know why i like watching horror films even though it scares me but i still do my brother whenever we like we're free you know he's like oh let's watch a horror film sometimes i say yes sometimes i say no and oh my gosh one time i went to the um cinema with him and we watched this movie called five Be five feet below or something oh my gosh i was so scared and he kept scaring me honestly he was sitting next to me and he's like rah, rah. like every second there was a jump scare or something but, oh my gosh i don't want to go to a movie with him again if it's um a horror movie it, it, no, no 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 lps horrors there are some scary ones so i do get scared sometimes and nightmares but you know it's fine it's like interesting and i love it like lps honey's videos i love her videos so so much some people say lps tube is dying thoughts i don't think lps tube is dying i mean like it was dying for like a few months or so and then it went back to life again i just feel like there are less people who like film videos of them because of copa as well <clears throat> Copa is like not allowing people to comment on their videos, people can't see, get notifications and all that stuff. Creators are just like fed up of this. Honey's pet shop. She also said another question. She said, what made you start and collect LPS? Okay, I'll tell you the story. <coughs> this was in what year? Primary school, let's just say. So about break time, we used to trade stuff. For example, if I had this snack that that person wanted, they would trade their snack from us or they give me something else. Well, that's what my sister's friends did. So um, my sister gave them her snack and in return, they will give her LPS. And that's how I got my first LPS. Here are just two examples. We have Cynthia from LPS Betrayal. Don't mind that. It was just my other LPS. And the other LPS is James. 
And yeah, um, here's a little update. I fixed James because he was all chips up and everything. Does he look good? I don't know. He looks horrible in my opinion. I, I regret it so much for customizing him. And some examples of the two LPS I got. I can't believe it because like these two pets are like, well not rare, but like like online they're listed for like so much. I can't believe I just... We, I got them for my sister. LPS were in stores in Hong Kong. That was like the last year they sold LPS in stores, I think. But basically, um, my parents bought me the uh, the one where you like brush the hair. Like there's this brush and you brush the top of the hair and the eyes go like down and up. My parents bought me and my sister the LPS triplets, so the kittens and also the puppies. So you might notice I don't actually have the the pink kitten of that triplet set. That's because I lost it. So I went to art class one day and I brought the LPS with me and I was like drawing. I didn't know where to put it, so I just put it under the table. Like, because there was like lots of these storage boxes under the table, so I just put it on top of one of these storage boxes. And I completely forgot about it until I went home and I was like, wait, where is it? So I went all the way back downstairs, searched everywhere, and it wasn't there. So someone must have stolen it or saw it and threw it in the bin. Yeah, that's really great. Let me put these two guys away. So after my sister got all those LPS from her friends, she wasn't that interested in them. She would just store them in this, like, on her shelf in her room. I was really interested in them. I don't know why. It just, you know, the connection, you know? I was interested in Barbie then. I, I would use the LPS like as pets for the Barbie. That's how I started like playing with LPS, I guess, and getting into LPS. After I lost interest in Barbie, I took all the accessories for my Barbie and used them to play with LPS and that's how. I got into LPS tube, LPS community, and then I found LPS Blossom TV and all that stuff. That's the story of my life on LPS tube. The story of my life. I don't know the lyrics. What direction? Why did you quit? The last question I will be answering today, also from LPS Dreams, and she said, How do you do your photography so good? First off, thank you so much. It's not that good, honestly. I just use a phone and it has like, you know, the portrait function. So I just basically, I take the photo, I tap on the screen to focus, go into Instagram, and before you post the actual photo, you can edit it. So I, I've been recently editing my photos now because they looked horrible. So I decided to do that. So I put the brightness up, I put some warmth in it, I put some contrast in it, and all that stuff. I usually do 25 or 50. And then when I think it looks good, then I click next and I post it. Honestly, it's not that great. Okay, I hope that answers your questions. And um, yeah, this is all for the video. Thank you guys so, so, so much for 300 subscribers. It honestly means so much. And I can't believe we've gained like 18 more subscribers. Just in a few days oh my god so thank you guys so much again for like supporting me and everything hope you guys enjoyed this video this q a video and getting to know me better and yeah if you like the video please subscribe like and comment down below any of other questions that you want to ask me and i'll be sure to answer them and if you subscribe hit that bell notification to get notified and when i post videos love you all so much i appreciate every single one of you i i'm so thankful for all of you guys crazy mode deactivated now and professional mode activated there we go so i hope you guys enjoyed the video love you guys all so much and i'll see you guys next time bye